Welcome to the fourth part of practice problems on combinational circuits. After this, we are going to start a new series in which we will talk about the sequential circuits. In this part, I am having two problems. The first problem is for me. I am going to solve it. And the second problem is for you. You can consider it as your homework. I will just give a small hint and tell you how to approach for the solution. And you will solve it. Post your answer in the comment box so that everyone can take help of it. And uh, that's all for the second problem. Now we will move to the first problem which will be solved by me. In this it says implement the following boolean expression. Using an 8 is to 1 multiplexer. A very simple problem. We have already done this when we were studying the multiplexers. And it's a kind of revision for you. The function f is there having the four variables a, b, c, d. The min terms are given as you can see and also the don't care. The don't care is 0, 2 and the min terms are 1, 3, 5, 10, 11, 13 and 14. Now what is the step number 1? The step number 1 is to make the k map depending upon the number of variables. I am having a 16 cell k map. I have made it already because I want to save the time. And uh, the step number 2 is definitely filling this map with this min term and the don't care. After doing this we will make a 8 is to 1 multiplexer. We will assign randomly the variables as the selector variable in them and then the one variable, the left variable will act as the input. These are all the steps that we have to follow to get to our answer. Now let's fill this map with the min terms. The min term is 1, 3, 5, 10. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and this is 15 which is definitely not in our main terms and the don't cares are 0 and 2. So 0 is my don't care and 2 is my don't care. Now we have to make a 8 is to 1 multiplexer. I will make a 8 is to 1 multiplexer here. And the selector variables are 3 in this case. So these are my 3 selector variables S0, S1, S2. The output is Y and there are 8 inputs 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The first input is I0, I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6 and I7. Now the important part comes we have to assign these four variables as the input and also as the selector variable. So I will take for the convenience I will take S0 equal to C, S1 equals to B and S2 equals to a. So this is what I have decided and depending upon this I will make a truth table in which the input is S0, S1, S2, 3 variables so definitely 8 combinations 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1 0 1 1 1 0 and finally 1 1 1 so these are the eight combinations and the output is y when all the selector variables are 0 it means the output is going to be i 0 similarly i 1 i 2 i 3 i 4 i5, i6 and i7. This is what we have learned from the multiplexers. Now I will use this k-map and try to find out the value of i0, i1 up to i7 depending upon the values of s2, s1 and s0 and as I have already made a assumption that s0 is c, s1 is b and s2 is a so we can use this k-map easily. Now let's see in this k-map when we are having a, b and c as 0. a, b is 0 for this entire row but c is 0 for the first two cells. So I will take these first two cells and in this I am having a don't care and 1. The don't care I will take as 1 for the combination purpose and you can see overall this cell is giving me 1. That's why i0 is equal to 
1 very simple similarly we will see for the case number 2 in which a b 0 0 it means this entire row whereas c is 1 c is 1 for this two last cells so I will take this two last cells and this two last cells are also giving me 1 so i1 is also 1 when a b is 0 1 it means this row and c is 0 so again the first two cells of this row it gives me d because here I am having 0 and 1 is there in this cell and for this cell the value of d is 1 it means i2 is equal to d now we will see when c is 1 whereas a b is 0 1 it means this two cells in this two cells the values are 0 0 so I am having i3 as 0 it's a very simple process to do the implementation using the marks you will find a very different process in the books which is very very inconvenient I really don't like that method you can follow this method it's very easy and uh, let's see for this case when a b is 1 0 it means this row c is 0 then again the first two columns of this uh, row and it gives us 0 now we will check for this two cells because c is 1 in this case and I am having i5 as 1 now when a b is 1 1 and c is 0 it means this column I am again having input as d so i6 is d we will check finally for the last case when all these three are 1 it means a b c are 1 and for this we will see the last two cells and d is 0 in this case so I'm having the complement so it's a very simple way to implement and you can see we are having the implementation of this boolean expression using a 8 cos 1 marks this is C this is B this is A and the first input is 1 the second input is 1 again the third input is D and the fourth is 0 fifth is 0 sixth is 1 seventh is D and eighth is D complement in this way we have implemented this function and Y is F this F so this is all that we have to do in this problem now let's move to the problem number two that you have to solve let's first read what it says design a combinational circuit with three inputs there are three inputs so x y z are my three inputs and uh, three outputs are also there a b c are the three outputs so a b c are the three outputs now let's see what it says when the binary input is 0 1 2 or 3 it means 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 or 0 1 1 this is the binary input of 0 1 2 or 3 the binary output is 2 greater than the input it means when the input is 0 0 0 it is 2 greater and the 2 greater of 0 0 0 is 0 1 0 similarly you have to see for these three cases also and there is one more statement it says when the binary input is 4 5 6 or 7 the binary output is 2 less than the input so if I say I'm having 4 4 is 1 0 0 it is 2 less than the 4 so it should be 2 again so 0 1 0 in this way you have to fill all the values of your output and then you have to use the kmap and minimize the function and implement it as your circuit you can write down the minimized function in the comment section and we will see whether it is correct or not so this is all for this presentation I hope you enjoyed it and uh, more than enjoyment I hope you learned something and uh, if you have any doubt regarding any part of this presentation you can ask in the comment section this is all I will end this here see you in the next one